At the moment, I'm just doing some uh, initial uh, research on uh, training a VOSC model. So my use case here is uh, I have a collection of audio and video recordings uh, that uh, I'm going to try to transcribe. And I need something that's sort of specific. Uh, uh, more specific than currently the whisper model uh, or the uh, yeah the whisper models can can sort of do So there's this version, and then there's an L graph version. What is the difference between the Vosk model English US and the Vosk model English US L graph. Okay, so the Vosk model English US is the standard model, uh, which has a fixed vocabulary. The vocabulary is determined at the time of training and cannot be changed during runtime. So it makes it efficient and uh, suitable for situations where you know what kind of speech you'll be transcribing. Whereas the Elm graph, uh, utilizes a dynamic graph structure, uh, which allows you to modify the vocabulary on the fly, even even while the speech recognition process is running. So this makes it ideal for situations where you might encounter new or unexpected words, which for this use case is definitely definitely the ideal choice.
think I'm asking the wrong question here. So what I'm hoping to do is to automate some of this process uh, using Ruby. I'm just trying to find out if there's anything that already exists. Because there sort of was for Pocket Sphinx, but I don't think there's much for, I don't think there's much for Vosk, uh, Vosk related material. So when it talks about language model and uh, interpolation, it's referring to the step where once the models are trained, you interpolate them to create a new model that combines the strengths of both. Uh, this can be done using a variety of methods what I had in mind was the pre-processing steps uh, before you would interpolate the models, which is collecting, collecting the data, the text corpus, cleaning the data, uh, and then training the generic model, uh, as well as training the domain-specific model. So I was thinking of uh, Ruby, uh, Ruby gems related to natural language processing, but I think I think I got out of it pretty good. Uh, but just because it, it then asked me, well, which libraries you know do you want to use? I'm like, shoot, <laughs> there, I don't think there really are are any cause, uh, for Vosk or or Caldi. Uh, so uh, I suggested using. TTS, uh, text-to-speech, and rake. So we'll see if that... Uh... The Hugging Face blog post discusses using n-gram language models to boost the performance of the wave to vec speech recognition model. This could be implemented using libraries uh, like TTS or Rake that provide n-gram language modeling capabilities, which uh, which isn't true at all. Um, just by the way, but. Um, And there, this does not exist as well, unless I, I missed something. Let me, let me check out the link here. Also, it's clearly really good at uh, aggregating the search results. Uh, I was about to ask it uh, sort of a, a deeper question into uh, programmically uh, going about this, but at least with the um, basic service, uh, it's, it's not the best at that.
build to find the interpreter. Okay. Set up tools, system site packages. I am that's what it was. I always thought these two were the same thing, kind of like um RVM and um RBN and Ruby. Not exactly. Oh, <laughs> I want three point ten. Uh. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, okay. I guess I can install it first. I see. Okay. So you have to install the specified version first with py inf. And then you can create a virtual environment with that version. So this is another reason why I'm taking the time to go through this. Um, 
is that these tools uh, are a bit further along in development for for uh, models like Bosque or Pocket Sphinx or I forget the other one, uh, uh, Calbi. Um, But as you can see, it does take some uh, take some configuring. CC failed. Okay, so I'm to find reference to. Eighteen point seven. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. So the problem might be with the fact that I had Rust up installed as opposed to uh, just Rust.
Well, given that it's um, some sort of packaging system, I'm not sure if it's actually required for this particular piece. The, the first thing I'm actually giving it is um, an audio track here. West exterminate. Yes, yes. Guess cap link. Stretch more. Mince hack point sun red point hoof trap slash tide. Guess each bat slash nerders made each nerd. Yes. Cap drum space nerd urge tab. Yes. Hoof space shy red tab troy link. Yes. Sunod, right? Yes. Go, go, go. S shh. Boom. Boom. S shh. Pew. S shh. 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 Quick, quick, quick. Each space, bat yank each. Yes. Ice scribe, goodbye. Clause space red urge nerd space dash notify send space shout bat yank each yell same space scribe sleep space two same space pit scribe kill video point sun hoof save hype quench scribe echo load space tide plus slash bat tab space Vert, space nerders made each nerd cap, yes. Goodbye. A spontaneous generation of contextualized sense Context Spontaneous generation of contextualized sense Context 
contextualize sense electrorhythmic pulse Electrorhythmic pulses propagate signal Propagate signaling the transcending self-referential Emergent patterns of recursive Emergent patterns of recursive depths Text collapsed into a symbolic stream. A con Conscious flow. Tremor of deep resonance. Quick tremor of deep resonance. All right. So now I'm going to give it to let's see. All right, uh, building a database of words. All right, uh, building a database of words. So when, um, yeah, so scripts for parsing the transcripts, um, can probably be adapted from the ones that are parsing the files, um, or breaks. Uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to start with the, the link chain in, um, chunker. It seemed to be that's chunker. So yeah. Um, sorry, it's a little loud. Uh, Yeah, this works. Uh, this works pretty pretty well. Pretty impressive.
And later on today, I, I hope to explore the uh, video grep and MP4 grep tools. So yeah, um, so the next step will be to um, look into how the text corpus is to be structured, uh, the Caldi toolkit uh, there, that requires a specific structure to the text that it's going to be trained on. And that'll take a few days. That's um, that's a fairly grindy sort of uh, set of tasks that you have to really sort of just zero in on for a while. <laughs> 